Hey BitRats, this is Tim Hartman from the 6502 Collective and Retrotainment Games. Together with Bo, our friend from Soul Goose Productions, we are kicking off our MP3 NES cart series. Every cart comes with an expansion audio adapter made by our friends at Infinite NES Lives, headed up by Paul Malloy. Um, the expansion audio adapter allows our creation to play MP3 audio through your NES. It's a band's album essentially on a cartridge. I'm here today with Scott Mellinger of Zeo, which is our first band to make an album on an NES cartridge with us. So in this video, we're going to show you how to install the adapter to experience Zeo's album Reformat Reboot on your NES. The quickest and easiest way to play our MP3 audio carts is through the ABS console, which is manufactured by our friends at Retro USB. And the reason you can do so without modifying the system is that it has a Famicom built in which gives you access to the additional audio channels that are needed in order to play the MP3 audio cart. Like this, our first release, which is Zeo Reformat Reboot, which is our first in a series of cartridges that we're putting out. So we're going to throw it into the ABS and show you guys how it works. Insert the cartridge. Power on the system. Hit the start button. And it's firing up. I'm going to play you guys the first song that uh, I heard and fell in love with from this record, which is Xenophile, the second track on the album. There are two ways you can modify the original NES for the MP3 cart to work. First and the simplest way is to remove your port cover, and then there's this cover over the bay area here where you can clip and just remove this completely. We're going to start by removing the port cover on the bottom of the NES. And then there are six tabs here that we're going to clip in order to gain access to the expansion port. So we've gained access to the expansion audio port. Make sure your Nintendo front is facing you and we're going to install the expansion audio adapter that you got with your cartridge into the port right here and it goes in with the clips to the right. Just like that. Then you're going to take your cover and put it back on and you're ready to go. Next is the internal installation which requires you to open up your NES to gain access to the expansion audio port from the inside which will allow you to modify the system without clipping or hurting the system in any way. In order to do the internal installation we do have to remove the six screws on the bottom of the NES to gain access to the inside. Next step is going to be to remove this metal shield, and there are seven screws that will have to be removed in order to do that. One here, 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 and on that side as well. Once the screws are removed, you can remove that metal shield. The next step is actually going to be two steps. We're going to remove six screws that secure the cartridge tray to the circuit board. And then our last step is going to be removing these last two screws that actually hold the circuit board to the shell bottom. Now that all the screws have been removed, you can easily take your NES circuit board and flip it over, making sure to keep the NES oriented to the front. You'll have access to your port, then you can take your expansion audio adapter with your clips to the right, and it will go right into this back section of this port. 
and there you go. And now we're ready for Nintendo reassembly. You'll take your circuit board and fit it right back onto your bottom portion of your shell. You're going to want to first install the two screws that actually hold the circuit board to the shell. And then we're going to reinstall the six screws that hold the cartridge tray to the circuit board. You also want to remember that your two longer silver screws are the ones that are going to be in that second slot for your cartridge holder. Reassembly for your metal shield uses the seven screws to hold that shield onto the circuit board. Last step, you're going to take your Nintendo top shell, install in the top, flip over, and then reinstall the six bottom screws. Reassembly is complete.